Hey, talking about cleaning things up. Yes, darling. Let's get away from this dirty, 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 dirty poli politic conversation. So we can come back to it later. So we can come back to it yes, later. Yes, love it. All right. Um, we are about to go down the road of our first guest <sighs> for this evening. You've seen her once before and you'll see her again. Ma, ma, ma. Now, we're going to cross live to a real artist's studio. Now, artist's studio. I've been around a bit. I've heard that about you. That's true. And I must say, I haven't seen very many artist studios. Have you ever seen an artist's studio? Does that include my own? No. Then no. Right. Okay. So, what we're going to do, we're going to cross, we're going to have a little look at um, a video just to remind us all of uh, when our uh, our dear friend Chloe Neath first visited us in February this year, February Was it that 24th. Long ago? Yes. Seems like yesterday, Chloe. I know. So, for those of you who um, uh, have been watching the show for a while, you'll know Chloe. And for those of you who haven't met Chloe before, here's something to uh, sink your teeth into. And when we come back, we'll sink our teeth into Chloe. And the other, the other main thing, it's charcoal, and um, there are these things called paper stumps that blend your charcoal. That's my big tip, and I say that to my kids a lot. Is um, we use paper stumps because you get beautiful. Um, blending with them really soft radiance so you can start getting that realistic skin gives it a glow that you don't really necessarily get as easily with pencil mm -hmm. so that's why I like charcoal because you get a real warmth right yeah because yeah. because um, graphite usually sort of gives you those sort of like um it's, it's like almost like a gray scale really isn't yeah it? yeah absolutely but there's something about the charcoal I, don't, I think that's why they've been using it for hundreds of years there's a real warmth to it yeah. And a truth, I suppose, like when you look at it. Because when, when we look at your work, if I can just go back to those those first row of pics that we showed there, there's a lot of, I guess, almost photorealism. I don't know what category you'd pop that into. Mm. But that's, yeah, like that's not a cartoon. That's not an interpretation. It's not, yeah. I mean, that that particular one is amazing. I think, I think um, what I do is I take photos of people, I map out the outline and then it really is just a you know millimetre by millimetre process of just matching what you're seeing in the photos that I'm taking. And yeah, that gives that gives it the realism. It wasn't what I intended in the start. Um, I wasn't aiming for photorealism, but just as I kept going on, it just seemed to develop that way. And people have responded to it really well. I think it's that um, time old thing that when people see a, a drawing and it looks like a real person that's there's something they connect with you know it's exciting to be able to see that yeah and you're pretty good at that oh not too bad yeah, yeah. How, long, how long have you been how long have you been honing your craft for darling uh it's i think it's been about six years since i started don't look drawing. don't don't look at me with a question you, <laughs> this is your life darling no, i wasn't there for all of it i was only <laughs> <laughs> for a little while now just for a minute darling just for a minute yeah it's about six years about six years now. Yeah. And um, I, I'm a, I'm a secondary art teacher, but I went to four days so I could have three days in my studio, and um, that's made a huge difference in terms of being able to get a lot more drawing done. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, some of those drawings were uh, quite recently mm -hmm. um, bound together in a book, weren't they? They were. <laughs> just so happens that we're going to put it up on this camera over here darling let's do this and do the big close-up there we go there we go baby farmer the baby farmer scary picture <laughs> fantastic <laughs> yes the baby farmer book um i worked with a guy called nick ravenswood uh for about two years on this book it is uh illustrated as well as having a story and um for two years I worked on about 30 drawings that illustrated this beautiful tale that Nick um, wrote. It also, all the words were performed as a play. So Nick performed it as a play as well. And um, we had an exhibition of the drawings. We had the book and we had the play happening as we toured around Victoria, went to Adelaide as well. So last couple of years were um, all about the baby farmer. Well, there you go. That's what happened on Saturday, February the 24th. Here at the Lands TV studios. With Chloe Neath. With Chloe Neath. And we've got her again, except this time she's at her studio and we're at ours. Chloe, 
Chloe, are you there, darling? Are you there? Oh, she's frozen, darling. She's there. Oh, she'll come good in a is minute. Is she frozen or is she putting it on? Wow, yes. Wasn't there a whole bunch of um, people playing statues for a minute as well? The mannequin challenge. The mannequin challenge. Maybe that's what's happening. Chloe, stop doing the mannequin challenge. Yes, what are you doing? Come back to us. That trend's gone, darling. Oh, dear, dear. See, this is the joy of live, live TV. At least we have internet this there week. We go. Oh, oh, we've got movement. Again. There we go. Hello, Chloe. Chloe. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm good. I think our internet dropped out on you. Sorry. Oh no, it's fine. It's um, we didn't have to look like a frozen moment, so we were okay. It's the the issue is yours. No. <laughs> Darling, we've just seen a little bit of footage from... Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I blame your cameraman, really, but still. Uh, <laughs> um, we just saw a bit of footage from February this year um, where you'd been uh, touring with the, with the lovely Nick Ravenswood um, uh, with a show, a, um, a, a, a moving uh, art gallery of, of your work for uh, the baby farmer and you've got a bit of the baby yeah, farmer right next right. to you there haven't you darling i do <laughs> yes yeah, so, um one of the characters here looking horrified um but yeah i just i pop her up she's kind of my favorite from the book so um, i still enjoy looking at this one it's a bit Oh, darling, it's fantastic. Now, darling, you have offered to show us around your studio this evening. I'd be really keen for that. Would you be really yes. keen for that? Fantastic. Would you like to take us... Show us all your stuff. Show us your stuff, darling. Show us your stuff. <laughs> I can. I'm in trouble hearing you a little bit, but I'll just, you know, show you a few things. Things. This is my that I come to um, each weekend when I'm not working. Where I've set myself up my easel and I sit here for hours um, drawing and basically. Um, that little clip before you about paper stamps, this is what I'm talking about. And charcoal pencil, and that's pretty much um, in terms of what I use to create the drawings. So, uh, yeah, drawing the sharp charcoal pencils and then and then smudging them to create um all the shading and texture and detail go on darling um, don't wait for so, us can we we're here yeah. we're taking it all in it's fantastic good um this is the stuff i've been working on uh recently it's kind of the direction for the next years um, but it's good because you can see a drawing that only just started. Um, this is a model called Chloe. She's from Melbourne. Um, she's a chef, but she's kind of had a pretty tough life, uh, and that sort of thing. And um, she was a bit of a favourite for me. I've done quite a few drawings of her now. Um, so the new direction, which I'm very excited about, is I'm playing around with is what I kind of the word solarisation. The images where you're kind of uh, flipping light to dark areas around. Um, so that's playing with in terms of the faces. Uh, and then I'm actually going to get into some colour, which is uh, also exciting. So this is So um, I say this to my students all the time, you know, experiment with your materials. So that's what I've been doing here is trying to um, play around with what looks good, what doesn't work, finding things that look good together. I found this fabulous um, gold leaf because I use gold leaf quite a lot. I found this gold leaf that's dusty and tarnished and a bit vintage looking. So I've been playing around with that thing and this is kind of the one I'm excited about at the minute with the black, black whites and the really smoky blues. It's of the shape a bit. Um, so I don't really know where this is going to hit. 
Um, but I'm going to be on these drawings the next couple of years. It's going to take a couple of years so long. Darling, darling, the gold leaf, is it actually made from gold or is it just called gold leaf these days? It's just called gold leaf. Um, you can buy it. I'll show you. It's got one right here. I feel like someone's advertising. <laughs> um, it's six bucks um, for a packet, so it's not real gold. Um, maybe I'll do that one day, but... Um, um, see for anyone to play around and awesome and with that as well like uh, you're mm. using are you using uh, like a, a PVA glue what, what do you use adhesive and it, what adhesive thank you darling you're welcome and what adhesive are you using to apply the gold leaf to uh, to the piece well this is um my, my leaf Thing. Especially for gold leaf, gold leaf. Um, paint, you leave it about, about 30 minutes, it's instructions on. Um, and then people wear white, white gloves because it's to your fingers. So this is it here. See? Really thin, really delicate, sticks to your fingers. Yeah. Yeah, these, I mean, just, you know, white, you can buy them at the supermarket. And, um, once on a towel for an hour, you just flip these bits of gold onto it and press down and then you use a brush to sort of get rid of any excess and you end up with something that looks really cool. So anyone can do it. It's really fun. And that's Ooh. that's become part of your trademark. Like if if I went into to an art show and saw a, a, quite a strong image with, with gold leaf, I'd probably go, That's a Chloe Neath. That's a Chloe Neath. Yeah, I kind of, I think I kind of got addicted to the way that um, you can see it with this one. I think because it's reflective, it really gives a really good depth to um, the portrait itself. Uh, it's almost like a, a mirror or a window behind them. And um, yeah, it's just really satisfying to do the drawing and be drawing. But once you put a gold leaf there, it just gives this depth. Yeah, that's kind of why I got a bit addicted to it. Hmm. Darling, your, your audio is a little bit choppy there. How about we maybe move through the studio a bit more? Maybe um, uh, where, where you hang your pieces? We might get a bit I want to see the toilet. Oh, no, that's just a tree with a, <laughs> with a hole in the ground. <laughs> that's art. That's a different yeah. sort of art. I want to see it up. Oh, it, right? <laughs> um, the partner put there for me um, will be on the baby farmer because there are about 30 drawings. Um, and I couldn't find just in case we had to change something. So uh, this was a handy thing. I turned out those pictures um, and, you know, grabbed them if I needed to to make any alterations. But uh, it just means they're off the ground, not getting damaged in any way. I mean, charcoal, it's that, you know, if you're not spraying fixative on it, it just smudges really easily. A hanging system's really, really good for hanging up your work. Yeah. So we had, um, I had open studios here in March and um, it was part of the Main Arts Open. And where I am is kind of basically new stead studios uh, a whole heap of artists open up this space. so I had two weekends I had lots of people coming along to come and check out the space and um, see the people that up studios themselves and wanted to see how I was um, there were people that had seen it previously and sort of wanted to see it in the space and, and talk about the technique um, but the things they loved was that you could, you know, hang up your work and, and so that you could pull it down and keep working on it. It was great. I had about people through into it and um, I, I really enjoyed it. Like it was absolutely fascinating talking to uh, different artists and different people from local area, Melbourne, that came and visited.
Um, Keep going, yes. Chloe won an art award on Weekend Just Gone. Oh, you did so, Chloe. It was the... Oh, she's back. Oh, there we go. Uh, sorry, darling, you'd, you'd, um, you'd frozen for a while, so I was just, just telling the story about how you won an award this weekend. Um, it was uh, the inaugural uh, Waller Award. Chloe came second. Fantastic. I don't know. Yeah, I know. It was great. Oh, there we go. There we go. Do you want to explain the Waller Award, darling? So the Waller Award is uh, and the inaugural Waller Award that was set up by the Gender and Arts Festival. Um, all kind of arts could enter. Uh, so I put in um, a that I had done of the fabulous Michelle. Um I'd seen her at um, that fundraiser in Dalesford and uh, heard her sing and was just floored by her singing ability and she had this really strong presence on stage and I just thought I would really love to draw her. Um, so I got in touch with her and I uh, was lucky enough that she came up here and we did a photo shoot together. Um, I sent you some photos of that, but um, we took a lot of photos. Ended up using one that sort of showed her in a singing pose with really holiday inspired hairpiece and jewellery. And um, that was the drawing that I worked on uh, for the Waller Prize. Um, so she came along. Uh, the opening was um, two weekends ago and she came up and brought her mum and it was the first chance, because I just finished it, so first chance to come up and see it uh, in the flesh. And um, she was really happy. Uh, I think she said that it was really different for a photo because um, it feels more like looking in a mirror when it's charcoal on, on the brown paper. So she was really, really happy with the drawing. And um, we went over across the road to uh, the gallery from the um, festival closing party and where they announced the winners. And um, I was lucky enough to get second prize, which I was really happy with. Um, I haven't actually done a prize before. Um, so yeah, really exciting day, really good, really, really fun. Oh, darling, congratulations. What did you win, doll? Anything exciting? Piece of paper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With some colour on it and some words. A title, darling. Um, You've won the title. I know. And um, there is, there's a cash prize that goes along with it. Um, but the, the guys who organised the festival worked so hard, I think they just have been sleeping since that day um and then we'll get in touch and sort that out but that's a bonus that's really great but i was just i finished it and i was so happy to actually get it out there and get people looking at it and um i've got it i'll show you in a sec well um, darling do you do you want to show it to us or do you do you want us to run this uh bit of footage yeah what would you great. what that's would you really like good. us to do and then that way you can position yourself over and when we come back you can be next to the actual piece okay. Does that work for you? Yeah, that'd be. Yep, that's great. All right, let's do that. We'll see you in two minutes.
we go. There we go. Look, for those of you who are not Victorian, or maybe you're not Australian either, um, that portrait that was being drawn by the lovely Chloe Neath was that of uh, Victorian, Victorian uh, diva, songstress of traditional blues, Billie Holiday, Bessie Smith, Ella Fitzgerald, interpretations of, of contemporary uh, songs. Um, uh, and her name? Is Mama Alto. Mama Alto. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Voice now, of an angel, that now, one. Chloe, you're there. You're actually standing there next to the piece. And I must say, for, uh, for, for something that only took two minutes to knock out, it looks pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> ah, trickery of technology. Um, yeah, she, she was about 70 hours in the end. Um, so it was the first time I'd done time lapse, actually. So I highly recommend it because it, in the two minute video, it looks like it just pours out of your fingers. Um, but yeah, 70 hours, 70 hours to get all that uh, intricate detail. And I'm pretty happy. Um, one nice thing is that um, a friend of Mama's um, who was very strong in the uh, LGBTI community in terms of being a supporter um, passed away and she had given this ring to Mama. So I was so happy um, to have picked this photo um, because then it has sort of double significance for her. But uh, yeah, she, she came out really, really well. I was very happy with it. It's beautiful, darling. Is it is it a little bit bigger than life size, or would you say that was life size? <laughs> <laughs> She's a little bit smaller. No, That's but overall, right. like, is she? Yeah. The the um yeah. the the ring you're talking about there would have come from Yvonne Gardner. That's why. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing, darling. So that's charcoal and a bit of a and a bit of a paper rub and um, gold leaf. Don't some gold, gold leaf, leaf and uh, maybe a bit of masking tape as well. There, the edges look pretty crisp on the uh, the the. That's look at the close up of that gold. Oh, look, whoever's doing Just, your camera work, darling, is impeccable. That that gold leaf is turning up such a, a textured treat here. Yes. Yeah, it's really nice actually. You can see it on film because um, photos photos capture it, but the best thing is to see it in real life. So um, I'm going to enter. It's amazing. It is. It's amazing. Look, and just while we're waiting for, for the link to come back, uh, with Chloe, we'll just go through a few photos that uh, Chloe had sent forward for us. So this is the the real deal, Mama Alto, the real life Mama Alto. Right. It's absolutely uncanny. That I don't I don't know how she does it. How do you do it, Chloe? You've literally just like stolen this person's image and put it on paper. And there's another. That's a beautiful shot of Mama Alto there. I love, love that, that one. And, um, oh, look, it's Coco. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Um, and there's the actual photo. And there's the portrait. And there's the photo. And there's the portrait. This is a fun game. I love I this. Know. Do it again. Hang on, let's see if we do this way. <gasps> there you go. Stop it. Look do it back that. again. Do it back. There you go. And um, it almost is life size, darling. Well, yeah, well, a little bit. A little bit, but um I don't I don't think a smile could be bigger. Look at Mum Alton. I know. There. And 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 uh and Chloe, look at the pair of them. Speaking of the pair, look at that pair. I love it. I know. These two look, is Chloe with her piece of paper? Oh fantastic. I know. And here's Chloe with her piece of paper. Oh love it. I know. All right, we've wandered around an artist's studio. We have. I still didn't get to see the toilet, though. Well, you know, trees, trees, tree. Yes, I just want to see because I just assume that that's the a, a place of inspiration. A place you of see? inspiration. I do a lot of my best thinking on the toilet. How about you? Pop it in the thread. Pop it in the thread. Let us know. Hashtag toilet thoughts. Pop it in the thread, but not a thread word.